If you are looking for cheap and reliable MT, go to DVDJ.com and use code CASSES for a 5% discount on your next purchase. Link in the description to the site. Go check them out and use my code. If you are looking to get your badges and your overall grinded for the cheapest and fastest ways possible, I have a new badge and overall service on my Twitter. It's at CassesLaker24. Link in the description. Go check it out. Hit me up in the DMs for price. Hey, what's up, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wrap up super fast at every single archetype type everything you need to know i'm going to show you the best methods and everything if you guys could kindly leave a like let's say for 100 likes of the video share the video to everyone everyone who needs to wrap up fast you need to know this stuff to wrap up to 99 overall whatever and hit that subscribe button if you are brand new be greatly appreciated on the road to 50,000 subscribers and also if you play fortnite use my creator code which is cassislaker 24 <laughs> Helps me out tremendously. Catch you guys in the video, man. Now, the first tip I can give every single one of you guys is choose the difficulty and the minute restrictions that you feel comfortable with. For me personally, when I'm going from 85 to 90, I'm playing on Pro to All-Star. Once I hit that 90 overall and go from 90 to 92, I'm playing on All-Star to Superstar. And when I hit that 93 overall on people's accounts, I try and play on Hall of Fame because that's better. The higher overall your player is, the easier it's going to be. Now, these are the things that you get to every single stat on a Hall of Fame. These are all the steps that you need to know. NBA Championship gives you 7,750. Win bonus, 6,200. And you need to get A+, plus every single time. Play the Warriors, it gives you 6,200 opponent strength. Five stat leader, that's for your alpha dog. You've got chase that artist. Hard hits are really hard to get. Posterizers. Pick and roll finishes. Pick and poppers. Limitless threes. Up and under shots. Tireless shots, floaters, moving shots, assists don't really give you much. Picks dodge, you can do that on the defensive end. Now, this is how they're all the things that you get per Hall of Fame. Obviously, pro and that, they give you less, but the main things you want to go for is an A, plus, a win, and then try to get your five stat leaderboard, five stat leaders. And this is where you have your limit on your perimeter shots and all that sort of stuff. This is the center build that I've been trying out. Right here, I'm using a slashing post scorer. So the first thing I do is get a rebound and run the full court up the length, then go into the post and back him down. When I have backed him down, I do a post step back and do a fade away, which that gives you the most for you post scorers. Glass cleaners can do the same. Same when you lock down, so as you see right there. Blocks, steals, picks dodged, setting picks. They all give you a whole heap if you do a lot. If you set like 60 screens, you're going to get like 5 to 10k XP, right? Then you got all the blocks you got to add up there. You got to get the A+, plus. you got to get the win, you versus the Warriors, you get the 6200. That's a lot to do for the centers. But remember for centers, just try to play great defense. Post them back, do a couple of step backs if you're a post scorer. You could do drop steppers. You could do even do moving shots. Strong finishes give you a little bit. Good screens as you see there, only 30. I think it gives you 5,000. This is on pro, by the way. So, with that, you probably have like multiply that strong finish. You probably have like three thousand. Then that's for three thousand of that. Hard hits to one thousand one hundred fifty. Make sure to get your post spin finishes all the way up there. Your pick and roll finishes. That's another must for you center builds. Rebounds, blocks. Make sure to fill up your takeover meter. Get late game clutch shots when the game is down to the last seconds. Make sure to do that. Moving shots is another big one for you centers. Post hop spec, step backs, hop shots, hooks, picks dodged, win bonus, opponent strength. All this stuff adds up. It's hard to wrap up on a center than on a guard. So they're my biggest tips. So at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you some more tips. But now I'm going to go into the guards and for you small forwards. You can even do this for the center. Change your position to the point guard. All you want to do is put your minutes. You can't touch your minutes. So get rid of every single point guard on the team and put them in the reserved section of the lineup. And they put everyone else who was not a point guard primary. So you'll be starting in the point guard position and stay there for the remainder of the entire game. Now, difficult shots. I'm going to show you guys how to do difficult shots with the guards. Or even if you're playing center, you could do quick isolation. As long as you're at the point guard position. That's what I always say. Switch to there. Call for a pick. And then just hold sprint button. And hold X for Xbox and square for PS4. And it does a, fa a standing fadeaway. They go in more often than the far the fadeaway ones that go to the base like you do in park. They work out more pro prominent, better, sorry. And then for part, my career, just want to do the stiff fadeaways. They help you out a lot more if you're doing it a whole heap. Remember, you get 
You can do it like 35 times. That's the max amount of times you can do difficult shots. And you get a lot of XP for it. You get like 500 to 600 XP per moving shot that you do. Next is pick and roll finishes into teardroppers. All you want to do is call for a pick, dribble to the opposite side that the defender's at, and then roll to the paint and then do an easy floater. To do a floater, you should already know that. Down on the right stick and up on the left stick to do a floater. That is a really good one there as well because you've got the pick and roll maestro, the dribble drive success, and the floater all adds up to at least a thousand per possession. Again, I'm going to show you the acrobat. Pick and rollers, dribble drive, off the pick and roll, and then you just want to double tap X for Xbox and double tap square for PS4 and does an easy acrobatic layup. That is perfect for you slushers. I'm going to show you some things for the pure sharps and a lot of pure sharps are wrapping up this year. But again, I'm going to show you the acrobat. Once that paint, even it doesn't even have to be open. Look at that. I got a center on me. You got relentless finisher adding into that as well. So you get a strong finish, which actually adds more to it. And if you want to change it up, you have a strong, you don't, you're don't. like you're a slasher. You can do a post move. Like when you're with the acrobat, you can just hold down X or square and does a posterizer. Next thing is the flashy passes with off the pick and roll, dribble drive success. All you do is double tap triangle and Xbox and double tap Y on Xbox to throw an alley oop assist. Also for the flashy passes, do the same. If they're open in the corner, double tap B on Xbox and double tap circle on PS4 to give it to the open man. As you guys can see, LeBron James is wide open. Do a flashy pass to him and that gives you an extra 500 XP on top of the 255 that you get for an assist. Then you get the pick and roll maestro and you also get the dribble drive success added onto that that all adds up. Centers, here's another one for you guys. Pick and rollers, set a pick and then roll to the paint and as soon as they press A or X, and as soon as they pass to you, do an easy layup. That gives you a lot of XP. A lot of that. It gives you like 1,500 XP of doing a pick and roller. That is a lot. Pick and poppers. You can do that for centers. Most likely for stretch bigs. Set a screen. Roll to the three-point line or the mid-range. And then pop an open shot or a contested shot, which actually adds the mid-range dead eye or the deep-range dead eye, which can give you more XP on top of already what you earned just there. That's another 1500 XP every single time you do that. Now, limitless range and perimeter shots. This is what you get for pro, or I'm pretty sure limitless range I showed at the start of the video. Go watch that little bit at the start. But all you want to do is off a pick and roll, step back because it adds the ankle breaker, dribble drive success, and then shoot a three ball. With the ankle breaker act it, put it in. When you do an ankle breaker, use the ankle breaker badge, it does add a percentage of your success rate going into the shot. Again, I am going to show it to you guys one more time. Off the pick, do a quick step back. I am in the limitless range shot. Shoot the three and you will hit it. You don't have to always do it with the pick and roll master. You can just break through ankles and do a humongous step back onto the three-point line limitless range and hit that. Post hop step backs and post hop shots and post step backs, sorry. As you can see, I'm just going to post him down the back of the paint. Then hold the left, I'm pretty sure it's the left or the right stick, away from the basket. And then hold the shoot button to do a, a post up step back, sorry. Look at this again, I'm going to show you one more time. Go into the post, which is holding L, L2 or the left trigger on Xbox. Post fade away, you can either just, I think it's hold X, I'm pretty sure. I don't really, haven't done this for a while. So this is just some old footage I'm doing here, but do these time a lot. If you're a center or post move scorer, post scorer, sorry, do that a lot and it helps you out tremendously. Now for the extra options and summary, the summary that I'm going to give you guards, you pick, you play making sharps, even you sharpshooters, is use the pick and roll master a lot, use the dribble drive success a lot, use the anchor breaker badge to your success, that pick and roll master badge to the success. If you're shooting up your sharps. Use that pick and, pick and popper badge, sorry. Use that pick and popper badge a lot. And once you get your grand badge, for your shot creators, do limitless, do fadeaways, floaters, for your sharps, step back threes, limitless strange threes, fadeaway threes. For you centers, when you have your post moves, do a lot of post step backs, a lot of post move spins, a lot of pick and roll finishes, a little pop, pick and poppers as well. But 
The best ways to score, I'm going to tell you right now, is off the pick and roll. So just make sure your players are the point guard. Even if you're a center, switch your player to a point guard. It helps you out tremendously. Have a look at this every single time. You're going to get the most amount of XP. That is how I get all my XP. I showed you just then at the start of the video. shows you what things give you. So you can make your own little combinations. Maybe you like just to do pick and poppers and pick and roll finishes. Off relentless finishes, which are strong finishes. And do a, do a posterizer as well. So you got the pick and roll finish. Rolls to the paint. Has a get tapped, lightly contest, and you also posterize a player. You're going to have like 2,000 XP every single time you do that. But every time, you're not going to have that every single time. But with the stats I give you, with a little bit of tips I give you, you will be able to become... A 93, 90 overall, 91, 99, whatever overall you want to be. Obviously, there's other methods to do. I'll do that in another video if you guys need any more explanations. Tell me in the comment section down below and I can help you. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.